Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. During that time, I've taught thousands of people just like you how to discover, use, deploy, and support Oracle's back office software. In this lesson, I'm gonna walk you through the Purchase Agreements application. Please note that this lesson is part of the Purchase Agreements course found within the Procurement Functional Area under the Discover menus. But before we get started, did you know that you could earn free discovery badges for display on your LinkedIn profile just by watching videos like this one? You can. Stay until the end of this video and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. Key topics for this lesson are as follows. First, seated users. We'll walk through a seated user for the app. Next, how to navigate the application. Third, the application homepage. Fourth, application transactions. And then finally, transaction ser search options, both basic and advanced. Before we jump in though, it's worth it to note that this is a discover video. So discover videos talk about what an application does. If you wanna learn how to use and or how to deploy the application, then watch the videos under those menus. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump over into Fusion. And you can see here first, so what user? Well, we use Calvin Roth. He's procurement manager, which you can see here in the settings and action menu up top. And then second, navigation. So navigation to get to this application. You can see here you're on the homepage for Calvin. You wanna first select the procurement functional area. And then from there, you wanna select the purchase agreements application. So if you've seen the purchase order application, this is really familiar looking. It's just focused on agreements. Agreements are a construct that links POs together most often because they're enforcing terms within a paper contract. So agreement's kind of the conduit to do that. Um, so what you see here is the application homepage. And so much like negotiations, qualifications, it's a very visual page based on statuses, sometimes dollars, in this case, consumption, et cetera. And so like any of those other application homepages, if I clicked on any of this color, it's going to take me into a version of the advanced search, but threaded to, in this case, um, agreements whose amount is consumed over a certain percentage, right? So you can see here, if I was to roll down this particular search, right? So I've got something in terms of status, right? Um, and it says between zero and 20%. So uh, we'll get to a, more of that you know, when we get into the transaction search options, but it's just a little bit of what's in that particular home page and go back. Uh, but I can see agreements in process, agreements with no activity, consumption. So again, that's POs and how much of that particular agreement has been consumed. And then a couple other values as well. So if I want to uh, add more info tiles, I could do so here. If I wanted to see the agreements that are expired and I can also click this that refreshes the data here. And so that's the application homepage. Now, if I want to understand what transactions can be done, well, it's very, very standard. So you can see here first, I'm gonna go a little bit in reverse order. This is if I wanna look at queries. So if I create my own, great, or we'll call it analytics. Um, and if I want to look at shared, I can do and take a look at whatever's been shared with my user. Next up, if I wanted to see recent, so these are some of the BPAs or agreements that this particular user has been in and out of. And then next, if I want to search, so I could do any of the different transactions that are in this page, I could search on those. So you can see those here, I can change those. And then lastly, and this, this will make sense because it's going to be laid out very similarly. I can look at the different tasks, requisition, orders, agreements, etc. right? Now, requisitions really is all about finding approved recs that I can create my agreements with. This allows me to look at manage create orders. Same with agreements. These two imports or if I'm creating them as part of contract and need to import them in. Um, and then I've got deliverables. Deliverables are really compliance tasks related to sourcing and or contracts. And so this is the internal view. Supplier obviously most often doesn't have to be. You can have tasks that are internal, you know, an end of contract or annual review, but most often they're external tasks where the supplier has to do something. So he or she, the supplier would have their own version of looking at the deliverables do them. 
So then supply base is kind of nice. So different than going into suppliers, these are um, some ability to search on suppliers by assessments, qualifications, etc. It's a uh, well done page. And then uh, this isn't even a transaction. This is simply if, or, or if your uh, user was able to do some of the administrative tasks, you would see it here, like adding a buyer or procurement agent, etc. So uh, that's it for the application transactions and where they're set up. So now next up is the final transaction search options. So both basic and advanced. So if I click any of these, like we saw, I would have gone into the basic search. I can also get there by saying, all right, here's manage agreements. Let's select that. And then from here, I'm already in the basic search here. And so you can see just a search. And I've got some different uh, keywords and filters I can use. Um, I can also go to advanced search. You can see that allows me to add fields. It also shows that I've got more fields out of the gate that I can search on. And when and if I search and get results into the grid or section below, then I have some different options here. If I want to further filter what's been returned, I can do so by adding some high order filters up here. I could then push this out to Excel here, or I could even go within the actions as well. Sometimes you'll also see ADFDI as another way to, to uh, move data around. And then obviously I could even add new here as well. If I feel like I want some more data returned or I want to see less, this is a way that I can change the columns that are in the results for what I get down here on my search. So. Uh, that's it for the application walkthrough. We talked about the seated user, Calvin Raw. We showed how to navigate to the app. We showed the homepage. We showed the transactions that can be created. And we walked a little bit through the search options, basic and advanced. Actually, one last thing, sorry, that I didn't really highlight. If I wanted to take and I finally get a version of the search that I like, I can also save that search and make it my default for whenever I, Calvin Roth, come into this particular page. All right, now that's it for the application walkthrough for purchase agreements. So hopefully you've learned something and thank you for watching. Okay, as promised, here are the five steps you can perform today to start earning free badges for your LinkedIn profile. Step one, navigate to panamir.com and either sign in or join now, it's free. Step two, in the upper left, under the Discover menu, select the course that you want to watch and get badged for. Step three, watch all of the different video lessons in that course. Step four, when it's complete, send your LinkedIn profile and the course you watched and your user ID to badges at panamir.com. And then sit back and wait for step five when we attach a badge to your LinkedIn profile.